property before I've even started today. I'm going to show you this job doing a tarmac restoration on this driveway. The tarmac has been treated before with a restorer or some sort of paint over the top of it. And you can see the way it's weathered and worn away. It's looking really untidy. So what I'm going to do is pressure wash it and in the usual way. I'm more careful with the pressure washer on tarmac because you don't want to damage the tarmac. This one's not too bad, there's not too much loose material on the surface but sometimes if it's very loose you don't want to use too much pressure so that you break it up any more than it already is. So we're going to clean it, get it as clean as possible and then I'm going to come back when it's dry and apply ResiBlock Tarmac Restorer. I'm going to paint that over the top and get it looking light new. So I've finished my tea, put my wellies on. Who doesn't love to prepare wellies and um, get cracking? <laughs> See what I've done here after I've been over it with the flat surface cleaner. I've overlapped each row as much as I can. I've been over it quite slowly. The slower you go, the more rotations of the jet go over the surface. So that's a better way of cleaning it more thoroughly. So I wanted to get up any of this loose paint that was previously applied, remove as much of that as I can. And after I've been over it the first time, I've given it a good rinse to get rid of all that muck and sludge. It's surprising how much is created. But then after that, there was still seemed to be some loose paint that was coming up. So then I've been across it with the flat surface cleaner again. Not so thoroughly this time, but in the opposite direction, just to try and remove some of that loose paint and seem to have got even more off there. So I'm really pleased with that. So I'm going to leave it to dry out and I'll be back tomorrow to apply the new coating over the top. So today I'm going to be painting the drive with the Resimac Tarmac Restorer. The drive's come up really nice. There's no loose material on top. I've managed to remove most of the paint that was there previously, so I'm pretty confident I'm going to get good adhesion with the Resimac. And in preparation for painting on the Tarmac Restorer, I've been around the edges and filled any holes with the Tarmac Repair. And then I've also been around the edges and taped off the edges because this tarmac paint can be pretty messy stuff so I've got overalls I'm using a paint roller and, and scuttle bucket which I use just for tarmac so let's see how we get on to put plenty on you really want to make sure that it gets right into all the pitted areas right into all those little dips so that you get a nice complete coverage so that can mean that sometimes if it's a very pitted surface you might need more than you calculated for this one isn't too bad but I've actually used a little bit more than I thought I would but what a fantastic result how about that what a transformation as with a lot of the other sealants I've used it really makes a big difference to the property. It makes the driveway look really smart. So really pleased with that. Hope you found the video helpful. Check out my channel, loads more there. Why not subscribe? And uh, hope to see you again soon.